Do you like a grilled hot dog? When the grill is lit, a chemical reaction takes place. When the gas or charcoal of the grill burns, it undergoes a combustion reaction, one of many kinds of chemical reactions. Chemical reactions cause atoms of the same or different elements to rearrange to form a new substance or substances. When ice melts, it does not undergo a chemical reaction because the basic structure of the water molecule does not change. During a chemical reaction, a new substance or substances are formed. This often involves the interaction of more than one substance. The substance or substances that undergo a reaction are the reactants. The resulting substance or substances are called the products. Reactants and products may be either elements or compounds or both. The equation of a chemical reaction shows the chemical formulas of reactants and products. Reactants are on the left side and the products on the right. A plus sign between either reactants or products indicates that two or more separate substances are involved in the reaction. Sometimes the equation will also show the matter state of the reactants and products, whether solid, liquid, or gas. For example, when heated, solid mercury oxide decomposes into liquid mercury and oxygen gas. Besides the letters indicating the matter state, Notice that there are numbers in front of the formula for mercury oxide and mercury. The purpose of these numbers, called coefficients, is to balance the equation to indicate that it obeys the law of conservation of matter. The conservation of matter, or mass, is a key principle of chemical reactions. Even though substances may change, the mass of matter remains constant. For example, when hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas to form liquid water, the total number of atoms of hydrogen and oxygen is the same on the left and right sides of the equation. Ethanol is a common additive to gasoline. When it burns in a combustion reaction, ethanol combines with oxygen to yield water and carbon dioxide, the products. The reaction looks like this. However, this equation as written violates the law of conservation of mass. There are three oxygen atoms on either side of the equation so these balance. However, the numbers of hydrogen and of carbon atoms differ on either side of the equation. There are six hydrogen atoms on the left side, but only two on the right. There are two carbon atoms in the reactants, but only one in the products. The imbalance is corrected by adding the coefficient in front of the compounds to represent their relative quantities. These coefficients can then be used to balance the equation. This is the balanced equation for the combustion of ethanol. The balancing of reaction equations is part of a discipline called stoichiometry, which concerns the amounts of substances involved in chemical reactions. Some chemical reactions take place quickly. Some reactions occur slowly, such as oxidation of iron, which we know as rusting. The reaction rate depends on the concentrations of products and reactants and external factors, such as temperature, and pressure. Since no matter is created or destroyed in a chemical reaction, all the atoms in the reactants must be in the products. For example, in the combustion reaction of methane, the reactants have a total of one carbon atom, four hydrogen atoms, and four oxygen atoms. The products have exactly the same number of atoms. Reaction equations are the basis for understanding everyday chemical reactions, whether the burning of a substance or rusting, or reactions vital to life, such as photosynthesis and respiration.